how to chain grave games back again for another issue of warhammer age of sigma stormbringer issue 72 in this issue we get bastion carvalos the big daddy himself the songcast eternals so let's not beat around the bush let's get in there let's have a look at this cracking little model that you get with this issue now if you've been watching my videos you all know how little time i have really for paint issues um but models models i can get on board with and this model i can very much get on board with look at the size of that base cracking right let's have a look at the model so this is Bastion Corfolos, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, you get quite a few build options with him. You can have him with his hammer with one hand or two hands. You've got a unhelmeted version there, or a helmeted version, which is pretty damn cool. I don't know. There's a scenic base. This came out 21, so this will have come out at the last edition, the launch of the uh, third edition, Age of Sigmar. This would have been one of the big character models for the uh, Stormcast Eternals to come out. That's nice. Um, now, we're going to be getting a whole new set of Stormcast Eternal characters, probably. Um, probably some uh, more like Reclusian-style characters from the, uh, the what you call it chamber, the, uh, not the Echo Chamber. That's some of that uh, political people, you know, love being in. Um, but, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put it here somewhere. Uh, what the chamber is actually called. Um, but this is a lovely looking model. Ooh. A little bit of bling for him there. More bling. Bling, bling. Blingy, bling, bling, bling. Turn it over. Yeah, so even if you, you make building one way, you'll have a couple of little spares that you can can use for conversions if you want. A, uh, a custody shield captain wielding like a hammer. As like his base weapon, but like a a, a, a fitted uh, one of his uh, guardian spear bolters on it would be really cool if you could do that. That would be really cool. Um. Anyway, uh, stop drooling over the sprue. Oh, plastic, love it. Um. Is this issue worth it? Nine ninety nine for this character model. Yes, it is worth it. Um. Do you want to know the details of how much it's worth it? Okay, twenty eight pound. This will cost you from Games Workshop. 28 funday um third party you can get it a little bit cheaper it'll cost you about 22.40 um depending upon where you go that's you know a 20 percent discount from certain retailers other retailers it might be a little bit more but you still gain it for you know less than games workshop prices which is what you should do <sighs> anyway um for this issue it'll cost you 9.99 so for a tenner you get this model absolute steal for this character model of uh, Bastian Carfalos. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I don't think it's a hard T. Cartalos. Bastian Cartalos? It might be, you know. Anyway, that's the model. Let's get into the issue. Right, so issue 72. You'll be reading about Archeon the Ever Chosen, collecting, building, painting, and playing with Bastian Cartalos or Carfalos. Right, so Archeon, the Ever Chosen. Archeon is the greatest Chaos Warlord to have ever lived. He has been bestowed an honour few beings have ever received, the blessings of four of the Chaos Gods. It was Archeon who masterminded the empire-shattering wars of the Age of Chaos, and it is Archeon alone who can unite the disparate forces of Chaos into a single horde. Archeon is as bloodthirsty as the greatest champion of corn, as canny as the most masterful plotters of Zinch, as swift as Slaanesh is chosen, and as unrelenting as any great lord of Nurgle. He wields the greatest artefacts of chaos in battle, including the ensorcelled armour of Morkar and the Slayer of Kings, a blade which is host to a soul-consuming demon. Archeon is driven by a loathing for all gods, Whatever their whispers of glory, Archeon sees the Chaos Gods as a mere tool by which he will bring ruin to Sigmar and to the rest of his sanctimonious pantheon of order. Ooh, Edgelord. Ah, oh, right, so Dark Origins, Trials of Glory and Bleak Triumph. And then we've got Bastion Karfalos. What is cunning without the strength to back it up? Huh. 
and then how to build him again we'll have a quick look at this see if the how many kind of different build options he's got right so straight away well it's not actually showing you any build options in this is it uh no it, it's giving you options for his head but not so much for his hammer okay well you you can either follow this guide or you can figure out how to build the other version of him with his hammer in two hands or you can just go on reddit and look at uh, warhammer instructions it'll be on there then how to paint him painty painty and then rules for him which these are third edition rules so bear with me Ooh, hey, there's some fourth edition rules just to keep you going there we go And there we go. And that is that issue. That is issue 72 of Warhammer Gifts of Sigmar Stormbringer. In the next issue, we're getting some Auric Hard Boys. And then issue 74, we're getting another Guardian Idol. <sighs> another? Fair enough. But that is it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe. And much love. I will see you in a bit.